do unto others as you would wish done to you. That's the golden rule. I'm not talking about Christianity. I'm talking about across all religion, you know, all belief systems, every country, people try to aspire to that rule, every culture. And there's a reason for it. It's because it is effective. All right. But it's taught in a way that I believe is not effective. A lot of the time, the spiritual teachings will be taught with guilt and shame, like, don't do this, or you're a bad boy, or don't do this, you're a bad man, okay? The way it should be sold, and the way everything should be sold, is in your self-interest, as in, you'll be happier if you act like this, okay? So that's the case that I'm going to make for you today, all right? When you're ethical, you're happier, that's a fact. That's a hundred percent fact within my re- reality and, and within the people that I observe. Show me a, a happy person, a consistently happy person who is not also a good person. That is very rare, okay? Because people that do dirty things and unethical things usually are not happy people, and it reflects in their children as well. They will, ha- you know, a lot of people like that will go through divorce or they're. Their kids are messed up and their kids don't talk to them as they get older and, and on and on and on. The the repercussions are, are monumental, okay? Because there's two pillars of self-esteem. One is being successful, how you are in the world. And that means how you look, how you dress, how you talk, um, what you've achieved, okay? That is a very real pillar of self-esteem. The other pillar is being a good person, okay? Those are the two. And... You can have a guy who's super successful that doesn't like himself because he's not a good person. Or you can have the guy who is a good person and he, you know, can be jealous of guys who are successful and and sort of paints himself as a martyr, okay? Not all good people do that who aren't successful, obviously, but those are two examples of when they're out of balance as opposed to a guy who is a good guy and he's also successful. That's that's where you want to be aiming to, in my opinion, okay? When you're not ethical, you rob yourself of feeling like a good guy. That's the fact, okay? Money can buy a lot. Success feels great, um, but it can't buy the feeling of helping people and, and being a good dude, and it can't buy your reputation. If you're really unethical in business, it doesn't matter if you've made a lot of money and you beat the lawsuits. People are still going to look at you like you're a scumbag. They're like, oh, man, that guy just... He rigged the system. He he beat the lawsuits. He's not a good guy, though, right? You're gonna go to restaurants and people are gonna whisper about you behind your back, or and or you're gonna lose friends, and on and on and on. You're happier when you when you treat people the way that you want to be treated, okay? And in the long run, you become more successful, eventually, because people vouch for your legitimacy. It might take longer because you're not doing the get rich quick, you know selling garbage and lying and cheating. So you're not able to maybe close as many deals, right? If you're a real estate agent, you're not pushing that young family into a house that's, you know, full of asbestos, okay? But eventually you start to get those referrals. People start to vouch for your legitimacy. You have repeat customers because you do a good job and on and on and on. Also think about it like this, all right? If you're in business, think about how you would like to be sold, okay? If you're taught, like, let's hard sell this guy and just pump it down his throat, would you like to be sold like that, all right? Would you like to be talked down to in a certain way if you were your friend or if you were your girlfriend or if you were uh, a waiter? Would you like it if someone talked to you that way? Would you like being yelled at in the way that you yell at people, okay? The case is one of self-interest, not moralizing. First, if you talk or treat someone in a way that you don't like to be treated, your mind records everything you do. Your mind records every single thing you do. It's called the, the subconscious or your conscience. You have this running track through your whole life of what you've done, all right? And so over a period of time, when you're consistently seeing yourself and act, acting in ways that you wouldn't like to be treated, that means you're acting in ways that you don't like. Okay, acting in ways you hate if other people acted that way. That's how you're acting, all right? So how do you start to see yourself when you act in ways that you hate or in ways that you hate, you would hate other people to treat you, okay? What self-image do you start to see? The answer is self-hatred. You hate yourself when you act in ways that you hate, okay? It's very simple, it's very logical. When you act in ways that you hate, 
you become a guy that you hate and you will hate yourself and you will suffer. You will suffer because you don't like the person that's looking in the mirror. All right. But here's a funny thing that happens, right? Nobody wants to hate themselves and no one wants to think they're a bad person. I can tell you Hitler and Mussolini did not think they were bad people. They thought they were saviors. Okay. No one wants to think they're a bad person. So what happens? You build up defenses and you build up armor, right? You shield yourself, you wall yourself off to the world and then you project onto other people. You project the negativity onto other people. Okay, so people get bad when they buy your scumbag crypto trading uh, course or your scumbag Forex trading course that's gonna make them a million dollars and then they don't make money. In fact, they lose money like the vast majority of traders. Okay, and you say, no, it's their fault. They're haters, they're jealous, they're negative. They didn't follow through, right? It's their fault. I did everything right, they didn't follow through or whatever your explanation is, okay?